Well, on the sideline, that's Katie Nida, reserve place kicker with the New Mexico Lobos. And we'll have more on her as the game goes on. We're back in Albuquerque. Let's go down to the sideline and Heather Cox. Tim, a huge source of pride for New Mexico in the weight room is being recognized as a member of an elite squad. It has a moniker called Beef Masters. It's awarded to just five Lobos each year to the ones that are the most improved in overall strength. So pound for pound, it goes to the strongest and most improved, and they're forever immortalized with pictures and a trophy in the weight room. Now, John Charles Moore is a member. Nick Spiegel says he's come close a couple times. Ironically, Katie Snyder, the only Division I female football player, is also a member. I talked to her before the game, and she said it's a huge source of pride. Many people don't realize she does the same list lifts as all of her male counterparts, and it's what she's the most proud of, guys. All right, Heather, well, quite a, a really a fascinating story, Katie Natter. Meanwhile, on the field, make it 4-5. Let's complete the basket, a gain of about nine. We heard Heather talk about Katie Natter's uh, weightlifting prowess. What you may not know is that as a backup place kicker, she hit two extra points last year against Texas State in a home game here in Albuquerque. Katie was an all-around athlete in, in high school. You know, she played soccer and she was a track and field a competitor at Chatsfield High in Littleton, Colorado, in addition to kicking for the football team, where she went four of five on field goals and had 83 of 87 extra points in her high school career. We'll come back with more on uh, Katie here in a minute. Second and one. With Kamey, and the ball dropped out there. First down opportunity, Augustinian. Tight end couldn't hold on. But of course, uh, Katie Nada known the most for when she became a walk-on at Colorado under coach Rick Neuheisel, first woman to play in a Division I game. But after transferring to New Mexico in the midst of Colorado's recruiting, recruiting turmoil, Katie uh, hit the headlines with accusations of sexual assault against a number of her former teammates on the Colorado Buffalo. She has since said she'll have no more to say on that issue until after she completes her final season, which is this year here in New Mexico. Tim, getting back to the Katie Nida story, I think it's really important to, to remember that when she was at Colorado, she went there with Rick Neuheisel. And then when Gary Barnett came in, that coaching change had an impact on her. That was entirely different. Not as comfortable there. There is no doubt that she's comfortable here at New Mexico. I mean, Rocky Long told us that New Mexico is a wonderful place. It's the most diverse place anywhere. And the fact that you're a female kicker on a, on a football team is not that big a deal. I mean, there are so many different people in this state who do different things that she's totally accepted and totally comfortable with. Tacklers are not eager to let him go. Uh, and, Rod, you talk about Katie in Colorado, and Neuheisel brought her in, and, and Burnett didn't really want to be saddled with Neuheisel's decision, but the unfortunate thing is that it wasn't a gimmick for her to be there. She is good enough to compete for at least a backup job on the Division One level, and I think it's unfortunate that her national notoriety has come through the allegations and the scandals of Colorado and not through some outstanding athletic achievements. Swagger's pass, complete out the right side.